Dark Aether is one of those weird camos within Cold War because it's a fan favorite, but you can only unlock it in Zombies. So Zombies is seeing a lot more players that have never played before because they want this specific camo. And a lot of people do already have the Dark Aether camo, but I know there is also lots growing towards it. So today, I'm going to share the things that I wish I knew and the things that you should do before unlocking Dark Aether to unlock this camo faster and make the overall grind easier. In the description, I will have the full Dark Matter and Dark Aether camo playlist for all the specific guides in depth that I might not touch on today. And I will also have the complete Dark Aether camo guide linked in the description and put in the tabs above. The very first thing is going to be leveling up your weapons as fast as possible. Still, a lot of people don't know this trick, but when leveling up your weapons, if you are leveling them up in zombies, you can actually level them up extremely fast if you use your double weapon XP tokens while you have multiple friends in the game, because the more friends you have in the game, the more XP you get per kill. And if your friends go AFK and you're just leveling up your weapons while they're AFK and bleeding out, you just don't revive them. I mean, you're basically playing a solo game with AFKs in your game. Or if you just want to split screen and have your split screen AFK, you can do that to level up extremely fast. Or if you just play with friends, you level up extremely fast. And it can take only 30 minutes to go from level zero on a weapon all the way to top level 55 with a primary or level 35 with a secondary. But realistically, you can get a weapon to max weapon level in only 30 minutes. And the one thing to know is that if you're trying to level up weapons as fast as possible, once you get to around level, or I guess round 25 or round 30, you're gonna wanna exfil to get that extra XP because after round 30, the weapon XP scaling actually lowers. So you might think, oh, I'll go to round 40 and I'll get even more XP in between round 30 and 40, but that's not the case because of the scaling of XP in the game. Past round 30, you're not gonna be getting much weapon XP at all. So round 25, round 30, that's when you're gonna wanna exfil. And if you're running double weapon XP and all that type of stuff, you should get your weapon to max level. If not max level, then extremely close to max level where you should have all the camo challenges unlocked. And then you can just grind out the camo challenges extremely easily. And zombies isn't the only place to level up your weapons. If you wanna level them up in multiplayer, cause that's what you mainly play, or if you already have DM Ultra, you already have all your weapons max level anyway and can go straight to camo challenges on every single gun in the game. Or if you just don't like zombie leveling or are only in zombies to do camo challenges and would rather level up in plunder, war zone, or multiplayer, you can do so. Just take advantage of double weapon XP when possible. Now, once you're done leveling up your weapons, here comes the camo challenge part. Now, lots of people want this camo to use it in multiplayer because they don't want to do the full DM Ultra grind, but one little note is that once you do one of the mastery camos, the second mastery camo is so much easier to do. So if you have DM Ultra unlocked, Dark Aether is going to be way easier because you already have all your weapons leveled up and vice versa with DM Ultra. If you have Dark Aether already, you can just go straight to the camo challenges in multiplayer. But one thing you should know that if a weapon is max level, you can do all the challenges for that weapon in 30 to 45 minutes in a single game. Now. Better players will be better at doing these camo challenges because they will be able to stay alive longer in zombies and staying alive in zombies longer means you're going to be getting more kills, which means you're going to be getting more camo challenges done. Now, since it only takes 30 to 45 minutes to get a weapon gold, once you have all the camo challenges unlocked, that means you can do camos really fast for multiple weapons in a single game. And you don't have to worry about round caps as long as you're not worried about weapon XP. So let's say, for example, you have the Gallo, the M16, and the 1911 pistol, and you have them all max level and you just want to do camos on them. Because you don't have to worry about round scaling for XP, you can go from one gun to another with the challenges once you get gold. So I would recommend starting off with the weaker guns just because the weaker guns are going to be easier to get gold on the lower rounds and the higher rounds, and then use the stronger guns on the higher rounds. So you spawn in with the M1911 or the 1911 pistol, you get that gold. Once that's gold, you grab the M16. Once the M16 is gold, you grab the Gallo. And then within an hour and a half of grinding, you have have three guns gold. Of course, better zombies players are going to be better at this because they are going to be better at staying in some of the more difficult spots to survive in, which will in turn 
increase the zombie spawn rate so they're getting kills faster and going through the rounds faster so you're just getting those challenges done faster for players that are new to zombies you still can do this but high rounds might be a struggle for you also some weapon classes might not be as fast as 30 to 45 minutes for example the only class that i think doesn't count for this is sniper rifles everything else can kill zombies extremely fast even launchers and melee weapons but since the zombies have been buffed a little bit the snipers will take 45 minutes to an hour per sniper but the good thing is is there's not that many in the game and if you can just sit through like a two three hour grind of just getting the snipers out of the way you will never have to worry about them ever again so another tip do the snipers and the more difficult weapons get them out of the way as fast as possible just so you're not doing them last minute before you get dark ether unlocked and if you combine leveling up weapons extremely fast to getting gold camos really fast if you do the math add it together you can get a gun from level zero to gold in an hour or so if you're good at zombies of course the better you are the easier you'll be able to do them so realistically if you're a good zombies player you can go from weapon level zero to gold in an hour to an hour and 15. i know whenever dlc weapons have come out that's what i've done i've gone from level zero to dark ether in only an hour so really it's a really fast grind and you will be getting dark ether unlocked extremely quick with the current maps in the game right now for round based zombies we have d machine and firebase z for those that don't know which zombies map to play to unlock dark ether as fast as possible for the basic camo challenges like headshots kills while your guns pack a punch getting kills without getting damage do those on d machine and then every so often you should go to firebase c because firebase z has more of those elite and like mini boss zombies that you will need for some of your challenges where you need to get 15 kills against elite zombies to complete gold now the order does count i think for five single elite zombies all at once but because the manglers and the mimics spawn in in such high frequencies on firebase see you can get those challenges done really fast the reason i recommend d machine for the like the standard super easy zombie challenges is because d machine has faster zombie spawns especially if you're on the third story of knocked the zombie spawns are extremely fast or if you're in the med bay the spawns on d machine are so much faster so you can get so many more camo challenges done in shorter amounts of time but you can get slowed down if you go to d machine and then go to firebase z back and forth so do as many basic camo challenges for as many guns as possible on d machine and then once you go to firebase z then you can go to high rounds on firebase z cycle through many weapons so the same thing that i was talking about earlier with the camo challenges the 1911 the gallo and the m16 example you can do all the basic camo challenges on d machine you will get some elites because of the megatons but once you get those base camo challenges done extremely fast on D machine then load up firebase z do all the basic stuff on that map and then once the mimics and manglers spawn you can get maybe seven or six manglers and mimics to spawn in per round after round 30 so once you you're done all the super basic camo challenges you can just do all the mega zombies and all the elite zombies on firebase c extremely easy i don't recommend going on outbreak for camo challenges just because the spawn rates are really slow you don't get that many zombies and it's not round based so you're not going to to progress through the game as efficiently as you would in a round based map like d machine or firebase c and there's a lot of travel time added so if there's a pocket of zombies in one area with a couple megas or like megatons or manglers or anything like that you have to drive to them so that travel time is also going to take away from your efficiency of getting the dark ether camo now one thing that i think a lot of people wish they knew before starting to grind this camo is how it would be implemented into warzone there's not a lot of people that enjoy cold war multiplayer at least that only want this mastery camo a lot of people want the dark ether mastery camo either for zombies specifically or so they have a mastery camo within warzone there's lots of people that picked up warzone that are free to play players during the modern warfare era but bought cold war because they wanted to get the next mastery camo for warzone and when they saw that the black ops 3 dark matter camo was being brought as the dark ether camo within cold war zombies a lot of people wanted to unlock it for warzone but the thing is is there is no dark ether at this point in the game within warzone we have been told time and time again that dark ether will be implemented into warzone so that's probably going to happen mid season 3 so right around the time this video is uploaded or around the beginning of season 4 and then we might not see dark ether at all within war zone so keep that in mind if you are grinding dark ether specifically for war zone yes 
it they said it might be put into the game but there is no confirmation that it will be in a game at this point because we've been told ever since season two that dark ether was going to be put into the game and we just haven't seen it yet and i'm sure they're working on it but just keep that in mind it's not officially in the game yet also for a cosmetic standpoint in multiplayer in cold war dark ether actually isn't as bright as you would think the best map is Miami at nighttime for Dark Ether. That's where the camo really shines. But in a lot of the bright daytime maps, the pinks and purples and reds of the camo actually get blocked out by the sun. And a lot of your gun is black. And you'll see from the gameplay, there are moments when Dark Ether looks really good, depending on what area of the map I'm in. And it looks mm, meh, if anything, in others. So if you are wanting a really nice mastery camo within multiplayer, this is, I would say, a 6 out of 10 camo in terms of appearance within multiplayer for Cold War, but it definitely looks a lot better in Zombies, because obviously it was built for Zombies, I think it just fits that atmosphere a lot better, and in my personal opinion, DM Ultra is better for multiplayer than Dark Ether, but I understand lots of people want this easy camo. The last thing I wish I knew is, as a good Zombies player and someone who has lots of experience with previous Zombies titles, I wish I knew how easy this camo was going to get. Now if you're not so skilled in Zombies or brand new to the game mode, you might struggle getting to round 10 and above, so obviously upgrade as many of your perks and weapon upgrades as possible, because the more tier 5s you have, the easier it is to stay alive. But as a good Zombies player, I wish I knew how easy this was going to be to unlock because I went into this camo grind thinking it was going to be super difficult because Dark Matter in Black Ops 4 was really difficult to get for Zombies and really time consuming and I thought this was going to be even worse than that, but it's a lot easier. But for those new players, it's going to be a little bit tricky. So. As you're doing the Dark Aether grind for this camo, try to focus on becoming a better Zombies player because I promise you, the better you are at Zombies, the easier this camo will be. And it took me, I think, only three days of in-game playtime to unlock Dark Aether, while DM Ultra took me four days of in-game playtime. So it's a lot easier than Damascus, and you can do both Dark Aether and DM Ultra in the time that it takes to do Damascus, because Damascus took me seven days, or like seven and a half days, and then combined Dark Aether and DM Ultra took me like seven ish days to complete of in-game playtime. anyway those are my tips and tricks the things i wish i knew before grinding dm ultra and some things that you guys should know going into it leave a like if you did enjoy dislike if you didn't there's no hard feelings if you guys have any other tips or tricks that you guys have found while grinding dark ether let me know in the comment section down below because it will help lots that are on the grind because there's lots of people every day starting this mastery camel grind because they never thought to before anyway Check the social media links in the description below. Remember, I have the full Dark Ether camo guide down there as well. If you guys want a full in-depth tutorial from start to finish on what to do. The only thing is, is I didn't cover a lot of these things in this video and then because I didn't know it back then. Anyway, I'm about to head out. And if there is one, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.